One, two, three, four, five, six. This is getting to be ridiculous. Welcome back, watch fans. So I picked one of them. I know I have a ton. I'm sorry. Uh, I think this is actually going to be, a, a, I'm positive this is going to be an, an Ingersoll. Can't help myself. I really like this brand. I'm totally obsessed with them. But don't fear, I have, uh, I bought a Festina. So I have a Festina on its way. Came from, from France. I'm pretty excited about, oops. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, I also have a couple more Vengers for my YouTube channel's namesake, so don't worry, I will be looking at those. Uh, I just, there were so many of these, and I just kind of had to buy them, I couldn't help myself. Just want to see what's going on. I honestly don't know which one this is. Obviously, it's an unboxing. Today, I am wearing my Ingersoll Scoville. Oh, God, love this watch. It's like a, what do you call it? An Omega Speedmaster. It's actually super high quality. Oh. Well, whatever. All right. Let's see what this is. So, yes, it is an Ingersoll. Amazing box. Like I said, I have enough of these to build a, a box fort. Okay, I'm hoping that this is one of my bronze ones. But I have no idea. Oh, look at that. It's not, but it is still cool. It is a mechanical one. Look at this. Very nice. This is the... What does this say? The Miles. There you go. The Miles. All right. Awesome. Before we go any further, you know the drill. Let's watch this video.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I always add that to all my videos because uh, not everyone gets to see them. And uh, I think it's an important part of the Ingersoll brand uh, by showing that video. So I always include it. Uh, and then, of course, I always go through this stuff. Uh, any Ingersoll that you buy after 2014 will come in this really nice box. Uh, the older box was not so great. It was a leather box, kind of nice, but these are just spectacular. I mean, I have to say it, these, these wooden boxes. And I'm not really a fan of collecting the boxes that the watches come in, but I mean, how can you throw this out? It's a solid wood box. Each one comes with a lifetime warranty, which I'll get into, but uh, you also get this... Uh, I mean, this is heavy duty. These Ingersoll little plates, uh, it, it's really just a fun little thing it comes with. It says authenticity card. We certify the authenticity of this item and confirms that it conforms to the ex exacting quality standards of Ingersoll. Uh, I don't really know what you're gonna do with this, but it's kind of cool, paperweight. It's pretty, <laughs> it's, got some, it's got some weight to it. And then of course, here's the manual. Um, and it reemphasizes the fact that uh, it's a lifetime warranty. Um, so we'll get this stuff out of the way. This is, this is metal. Of course, it comes with the, the silica gel that everybody loves. I, mean, I don't know if it's, I just keep it in the box. It's nice to keep, helps, uh, prevent it from getting too, too much moisture in there. It's like if you live in Florida. Um, all right, let's get right into the watch. Uh, this is a very nice watch. It, uh, it has, it does have a Chinese movement in it, but it's specifically made by Ingersoll, and I'll go into detail on that in a few minutes, but let's just take this. It should have a protective protective coating on it, which I kind of want to take off so you can see. I'm a big fan of making sure that you can actually see the watch as you should. Now, uh, before I get into too much detail, one of the things that I always do with my watches, so I buy them gray market. I get them really inexpensively, but uh, in doing so, uh, you know, there's there's always risks to buying gray market um, and some of those and I, at some point I'll probably make a video about it. But one of the problems with buying gray market is that you end up with watches that uh, are usually really dirty or if they're quartz, uh, the batteries are either dead or the seals because uh, essentially it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Now with an automatic watch, it's not so bad, but the oils in the automatic watches uh, tend to create sort of a, a clouding. Now, I have a video for that, and I'll put that up here at the top so you can see it. But uh, just as, as I did with those watches in that, that video in this one, um, in order for me to be able to make the movement video, which I will show in a minute, I open up all my watches, I re-grease all the seals, and I use this stuff, uh, which is really important. Um, this stuff is excellent. Seiko uses this for all their watches, and I use it for all my watches that I... I work on, I take all the seals out and I, I pack the crown and re-grease the seal. And I also grease the seal here. And this case is actually very interesting. When you take it apart, this is stainless uh, stainless steel and this is uh, a brass. And when you, when you separate them, uh, this, the watch strap stays with the case back. And this comes out like a cylinder. It's actually kind of neat. And uh, you'll see pictures of it when I show the movement video. But... Uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, I'll go into more detail about the watch, but first I want you to see a quick video on the movement itself. The Ingersoll Miles uses the Ingersoll IN422A automatic movement, which is a high value 20 joule Chinese manufactured movement based on a modified Siegel ETA 2824 clone. The movement has a similar train layout to the 2824 ETA, but with a flying turbillion balance wheel. Manufactured under direction from Ingersoll, the IN422A movement is a simple and efficient full-size wristwatch caliber, providing the sought-after flying turbillion design and is used as the basis of a myriad of high-end Ingersoll watches. The movement runs at 21,600 beats per hour and has a power reserve of 30 hours. The balance is supported by an Inca Block anti-shock system. The movement is available in multiple versions which supports double date, day, month, and 24 hour indicator. All right, so now you know a little bit more about the movement. Uh, it is an automatic movement. It's based loosely off of the ETA 2024 movement. 
that uh, Ingersoll has, um, I think it was Siegel, if, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that actually was commissioned to make the movement. Ingersoll has a special version of it and they modify it because you'll notice you only find this movement, it's a 2024 style uh, movement and it has the flying turbillion on it, which is actually very cool. But that's really the design of these, of these watches. And that's why they're done this way. A um, couple features of this watch uh, it comes with a nice leather strap. It, it is actually quite a decent leather strap. It um, it's signed here, uh, signed on the back, signed on the watch strap, signed on the front. Uh, not as gaudy as some of the others. This one it pretty much has it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four places. Some of the others also have it on the side here, and there's a couple other places. But this is not so bad. Uh, the watch is a has five ATM, five atmospheres of water resistance. So that is, and I'll, I'll put a chart right up here. That uh, allows you to, if I'm not mistaken, that allows you to actually snorkel, some light snorkeling, or maybe it's just swimming. Uh, should be just, use the chart at the top. But I know you can wash your hands, I know you can swim, and I know you can take a shower. Uh, but with this leather strap, probably not something that you would generally want to do. This doesn't really seem like a watch that you would take swimming. But if you were in so if you were so inclined, you certainly could do that. Uh, what else can I talk about? So the crystal, as you can see, is slightly domed, which is actually a very nice feature. I, I really like this. And as I said before, I opened this watch up completely and I, I cleaned it using my my microfiber cloth. And then I was very sure to to blow out all the dust with this and then resealed all the seals with that. I always do that. The movement didn't need to be serviced though. It's it's in fine shape. Uh, it was running as soon as I opened it up, but of course that's just because, you know, it's uh, it had been jostled. Um, the crystal is, uh, like I said, it's curved, but both the front and the back have uh, what's called, um, gosh sapphire coating just like Wenger these are they're hardened mineral crystals and then they put three layers of sapphire coating on top and uh, that makes it uh, more durable if I'm not mistaken the sapphire coating is about a third the cost of a full sapphire crystal and then just a normal hardened mineral mineral crystal is about a tenth of uh, the cost of a of a full sapphire crystal. Uh, let's go ahead and measure this. Uh, I'm not gonna take a loom shot. There is no loom on this, that's okay. So you wouldn't wanna wear this at night or so you just wouldn't be able to see it. Let's check the case size. If I'm not mistaken, 42 millimeters. Yep, 42 millimeters wide. The lug width should be about 20, perfect. And the size should be about 15.2. Okay, uh, let me see if I can, I can't really measure that. I don't have, somebody asked me to measure the the distance for the strap, so I'll go ahead and do that. Let me see, do I have a tape measure? I do. It measures about 10 and a half, nope, exactly 10 inches from end to end. That's off my camera, but 10 inches. Let's see what else can I talk about this. Um, it's a very nice strap. There's no loom. I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I always tend to forget. It's a, it's a very nice movement. I, I like it. 20 joules. Um, oh, wait. Of course. I want to do that. It's It's got a good heft to it. Not, not excessive, but I think it's nice. Hundred and one point six grams. So not too bad. All right. If you like this video, please be sure to uh, click the like button. Tell your friends. Tell your wife. Tell your kids. Uh, have them all like it. Uh, please subscribe if you're so inclined. It makes it worthwhile. I don't get paid for these videos. It would be nice if one day I did. It helped me buy more videos. But right now, I'm. I guess I'm probably not even breaking even on it. So. 
Um, this is a great watch, but uh, I have eight Ingersolls in the mail, and some of which are already here, and I can't keep them all. So I'm going to put this one up for sale. Uh, if anyone's interested, I opened it up and cleaned it, cleaned the case inside and out. Uh, all I did was take the protective coating on, uh, plastic cover. I'm going to put them right back on. So uh, eBay link will be in the description. Again, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.